first report, July 17, 1985, the victim arrived and was met by officers and an artist. A drawing of the suspect was made, and the victim stated that the drawing was very much like the suspect. A photo was taken of the drawing. Officers obtained 50 copies of the photo from the photo lab. Officers took the drawing along with an information sheet to the Park Place station and to most of the smaller departments along the Gulf Freeway. August 5, 1985. Officers received information from Officer Lucas that he had received information that a possible suspect name is Earl David Warden. He will supplement the case during the past several weeks. Several names have been developed from information coming from those that have seen the drawing of the suspect. It is believed that officers will conduct a photo array and an interview with the suspect. Officer Rayner, assigned to the Park Place Crime Analysis Office, received information from several officers that had an occasion to view the artist's drawing of the suspect in this case. One of the individuals mentioned by the officer was Donald Ray Orland, white male, and the other was M. Earl David Warden, white male. The officer was able to locate driver's licenses for each of these suspects. Officers received both Texas Department driver's license photos and placed them, along with four villain photos of white males with similar features on the plain manila folder, and numbered one through six for Collins' photo being in the number four, and Warden's photo being in the number six position. Officer contacted the complainant and made arrangements for her to meet this officer at the Park Place substation. The complainant, along with her mother, arrived at the station, and the officer allowed the complainant to view the photo spread. After viewing the spread for several minutes, the complainant advised officers that the only one that even came close to the suspect was the photo in the number six position, but that the hairstyle was completely different from that of the suspect. It is unknown whether or not Warden had anything to do with this events. As mentioned before, this information came from officers that felt his description was close to that of the suspect. Photo spread will be maintained in the Park Place Crime Analysis Office investigation to continue. Sunday, August 4, 1985, received information on a possible suspect in this case. Officer Archer told officers that he had talked to a white female who works at a Circle Case tour at 3300 Reveille in regards to a white male impersonating a police officer and assaulting females. The type of car and white male was given to the white female and she became concerned of the description because it was similar to her boyfriend that she had been dating for about five months. The white female told officers that her boyfriend was a security officer with his father's security company and that he wore silver rim glasses and had short hair parted down the middle. He drove a white and blue old police car with a red light mounted on the rear dash, but also drove a new Chrysler, white in color, but she is not sure how the lights were arranged on that car. The female was shown a composite drawing of suspects in this case, but she could not make a good ID. She felt the glasses her boyfriend wore are silver and the mouth is different than the picture. The female stated her boyfriend had his car parked at her apartment complex. That car was being worked on by her boyfriend. She checked and found the car was white and blue and an old police car and not the new white Chrysler that he sometimes drives. On Tuesday, August 6, 1985, when officers came into work, the female's boyfriend had called the officer at work and stated that the female had told him about the investigation last night and he wanted to see what was going on. Boyfriend was asked to come into the station and talk to officers. The boyfriend stated he would. Officers later found out that he did come in and talk to Officer Rayner. Progress Report, August 9, 1985. Officers received information from Officer Rayner that the suspect's attorney was going to call the sergeant last Monday or Tuesday. Suspect's attorney has not called. The suspect is Earl David Warden. Suspect's attorney name is Ralph Kennard. It is believed that attorney will bring the suspect in for physical show-up. Progress Report, August 15, 1985. Officers received a phone call from Sergeant Espinosa of the Pasadena Police Department. Espinosa stated that he had a case file like the case that we are working and that his complainant had also made a tentative ID of the suspect from a photo array. He is going to get a warrant in this case. Progress report, August 22nd, 1985. Officers learn that the suspect has been arrested by Sergeant Espinosa and that a show-up will be held at Pasadena Police Department on noon today. Officers contacted the complainant in this case and asked if she could make the show-up. Victim stated she would check and call Sergeant Espinosa if she could. Received information that the complainant in this case viewed the show-up and made a positive ID of the suspect. Charges will be filed in this case by Sergeant Espinosa. Case to be continued.